Good afternoon, everyone. Today's our annual Memorial Day Parade. I'm Steve Bowman, the uh, Vice Commander for the 4th District American Legion, member of the Legion Post here. Uh, I'd like to welcome you all for our parade. I want to talk a little bit about what Memorial Day is and what it means to us. Memorial Day is intended to honor our fallen. We should not forget those who have pledged to make the same sacrifice if called upon. The young men and women are still serving in Iraq, Afghanistan, the United States, and in more than 130, 40, 130 foreign lands. We must continue to bear witness to those who never returned from the deserts of the Middle East, the jungles of Vietnam, the forgotten war in Korea, and the islands in the Pacific and the European continent. Several years ago, Admiral Bill Owens wrote in the American Legion magazine, many of us know the pain of losing a comrade who stood by our side, and we have shed many tears when our comrades were lost on battlefields around the world in pursuit of something they knew to be important, something they did on the command of their leaders and with confidence that the leadership would not let them down. Just as those heroes were confident in their wartime leaders, we must remain confident and committed to ensure that our nation leaders know the sacrifices made by these young men and women was in pursuit of something they too knew to be very important. Memorial Day for all veterans is a sacred day. It's time for us to remember our brothers and sisters that have passed before us and hold them in our heart as we have for many, many years. I want to thank you for being here today and I want to introduce our reviewing stand. First of all, our town supervisor, Stop Spiegel. <laughs> Member of our town council, Don Trombley with his wife, Betty. Better known as Bucket. He is, not her. Kathy Devins, another member of our town council. Leo Oliver and his wife Sue, the town clerk. Chris Latimore, a town council member, and his wife Amanda. Dick West and his wife Gail. Dick is the supervisor of Town Highway. Or Dick Lewis, I'm sorry. <laughs> Bud, uh, Bob Dunlop, our Town Justice. James Black from Price Chopper. And Dina Panetta from Shazy School. I want to talk about uh, our Grand Marshal a little bit, let you know who our Grand Marshal is. Our Grand Marshal is our post commander, um, Alan Reese. He works for the town of Plattsburgh as a code enforcement officer and lives in the town of Beekmantown. He is currently the commander at our post and a member of the VFW 1418. Alan was born in Nielsville, Wisconsin in 1965. In 1983, he joined the United States Air Force. After basic training in Lackland Air Force Base and tech school in Chanute, Illinois, Allen was assigned to McConnell Air Force Base, Kansas. In 1992, he was reassigned to Simbach Air Base, Germany. And in 95, he was reassigned to Minot Air Force Base, North Dakota, where he served as NCOIC of Maintenance Engineering. After Desert Storm, Allen was reassigned to Riyadh Air Base, Saudi Arabia, in support of Operation Southern Watch. And upon his return to the U.S., he was assigned to Isleson Air Force Base, Alaska. And then he went back to Minot in 2002. In 2004, he retired from the Air Force. During his military career, Allen received an associate's degree in construction engineering and a bachelor's degree in business administration and was recognized as the 11th Air Force NCO of the Year. 
and served countless hours volunteering as a Boy Scout troop leader and committee member. His military awards include Meritorious Service Medal, Air Force Commendation Medal with three Oak Leaf Clusters, Air Force Achievement Medal with two Oak Leaf Clusters, Army Achievement Medal, National Defense Medal, Armed Forces Expeditionary Medal, Southwest Asia Service Medal, Global War on Terrorism Expeditionary Medal, Global War on Terrorism Service Medal, Humanitarian Service Medal, and a Military Outstanding Volunteer Service Medal. Alan is married to his wife Tracy, who is also a military retiree and a member of our post, and has two adult sons. Alan will be joining us on the reviewing stand once uh, he gets up this way. Now we have about 35 to 40 entries in the parade, so it should be a pretty good parade this year. We do have a couple of uh, um, people that are in politics that uh, are running for office that are marching in the parade as well. So when they get to us, I'll do the announcing and keep you all informed of what's going on. At the end of the parade, the school band will be doing a uh, star-spangled banner. Um, we will be recognizing a few people with certificates, and then the school will do a medley of songs. Uh, they will play some patriotic songs, and then we will raise the flag, uh, do the firing squad, and taps. We also have hot dogs and Michigans and soda in their um, post for sale. This is Calvin Castine. We're at Shazy, in front of Shazy Orchards. It's the 30th of May, 2010, traditional Memorial Day. It's a Sunday, and as usual, this parade competing with the one down the road, St. Mary's Bazaar. Maybe someday Shazy will move their parade to a Saturday or Monday or earlier on Sunday. But for the past uh, couple decades, we've uh, been here while Sam Castine covers the St. Mary's Bazaar Parade. Looks like the Sheriff's Patrol and the State Troopers are going neck and neck. We've just been listening to Steve Bowman up there. Uh, and he will be listening to more of him as he describes what we've got to insight. I think to the Green family for leading the parade this year us is the Shazy Volunteer Fire Department. Use their property here to watch the parade. Chief Mike Cahoon. They have their honor guard marching this year. Uh, actually, leading the parade are the trooper and. Followed behind the honor guard is 1934 Buffalo Shazy's first fire truck. Dick Carpenter is the driver. Trooper and the sheriff aren't even. Engine recognized. 151 is driven by Corey Tucker. Engine 152 is driven by Todd Carpenter. Rescue 154 is a brand new rescue truck. Mike Davis is a driver. Ambulance 155 is driven by Lindsay Seymour. That is the world famous brush truck 156 is driven by Aaron Trombley. He's ahead. He's ahead of you, Richard. <laughs> He's ahead of you. I got you announced. Shazy Fire Department Auxiliary is in a float <laughs> at the very end. This keeps up. We'll know what's in the parade. Uh, <laughs> by the time uh, we're about a third of the way through. Sun peeking in and out.
Hitchhikers. And here's our fire department auxiliary. Next vehicle is our Grand Marshal, Commander Alan Reese. At first I thought there wasn't a chair up there, but there is one chair left up on the reviewing stand. Oh, 769. Next vehicle is from VFW Post 1418. The driver is uh, Major Select Bonnie Dunlop from the U.S. Army, stationed in Fort Belvoir, Virginia. Her father, of course, is sitting up here on the reviewing stand. Now we got Willard riding shotgun. Uh, Petty Officer Third Class Randy Martin uh, from the U.S. Navy, Fort Meade, Maryland. Rich Martin, a member of our post, is her father. Bob Dumas, a Vietnam veteran, I worked for U.S. Customs, and Willard Martin, of course, Chief Master Sergeant, U.S. Air Force, retired. Next vehicle is members of the DAV van, or a DAV post uh, 179. This van is one that is used to transport veterans from the North Country down to Albany. Uh, we log anywhere from uh, 350 miles a day, and we make anywhere from uh, 10 to 12 trips a month, transporting vets back and forth to Albany. Thank you, Greg. <laughs> Members of the Shazy School Band. A real Mickey Mouse outfit. Customs and Border Protection Field Operations Unit is driven by Officer Carter Favreau from the Port of Champlain. A familiar sight here in Chazy. Maybe they're moving kind of slow. Next vehicle is the Shazy Lions Club. They also have a float. The next vehicle behind them is presented by the Shazy Lions Club. Ken Berger is the current president. <laughs> throwing, throwing candy back at them there. <laughs> oh, the king and queen are up there. On the winter weekend. This young fellow's been out uh, snapping up goodies. So it's better than Halloween, he said. So I don't have to go to walk around, just stay here, and they throw it to me. <laughs> this is the second float from the Lions Club. 
and the best one, as Jim says. <laughs> Like some of the paintings that they did. The next is our no snow this Daisy year. Girl so Scout. Have a snow sculpture contest. In this group, we have Daisy Troop 4002, led by Christina Hampton and Colleen Bell. Brownie Troop 4165, Junior Troop 4075, Cadet Troop 4056, and Senior Ambassador Troop 4025. The Girl Scouts have been very busy with uh, activities throughout the year. They have done uh, Thanksgiving food baskets to senior citizens, Christmas caroling around the town and cleaning the Presbyterian Church, Valentine's cards, and visiting uh, Clinton County Nursing Home. Next is the CCRS 2010 Junior Prom Court. Royalty. That's followed by a new pickup from Riley Fords. Have you driven a Riley Ford lately? Little kids and old men. I have. That's how I got here. Now we have a Shazy Youth Hockey. All on rollerblades. Looking for ice. They're followed by the Moores Fire Department. Club. And then we have the Shazy Key Club. They'll be calling to confirm. They also have a uh, marchers for Doug Hoffman, for Congressman. And then we have Samples Lawn Garden. Doug Hoffman is here even. Driver Colby Duffina is driving the float. And driving the new uh, Evolution lawnmower is uh, Dylan Duffina. Probably Dylan. Talked to Matt Bell the other day at Shazy School. Now we're followed school. by the Shazy After School Program. So he's got his corn planted. Program with Eleanor, our Chinese New Year Parade Dragon. Made with paper mache. Eleanor took about two months to make. It takes six people to operate the dragon. So this year they're just keeping it right on the float. The corn maze will be in operation this year. With the help of Shazy, Shazy After School Program. Straight from Airborne. Now we got the Shriners. That does a whole lot for, uh, for kids. With all the little cars. And they're followed by their big rig to haul all that stuff around.
This next vehicle is from uh, Adirondack Trash, driver Sean McLean. He's just uh, here to show that they're available to help with your trash needs. The trash mobile. Made out of completely 100% recycled material. From Lake Champlain pools. This driver, Kevin Bushy. Next entry is the New York TBF. President Ben Wright, 2008 state champion, 2009 Eastern Division, Rob Lemoy. They're out to help teach kids how to go fishing. They will be having a casting competition afterwards at the rec park. So they're here to promote fishing in the lake. The lure of fishing. Shazy Cub Scouts is the next entry. And we have a veteran by the name of Terry Morris is riding with the Scouts. Shazy Westport Communications, they've got a bucket truck with a flatbed that has a school 2009 state champs in soccer, both boys and girls. I thought the girls uh, were number two, boys were number one. This they next entry is from our town historian. Again. With head schoolmaster Richard West. There's Richard West. See? Driving the mighty steed pull the town. Shazy historians float depicting the one room school days. Bob Cheeseman. Schoolmaster Bob Cheeseman instructs his fine class of students, giving us a look back into the past. That's the way Bob dresses every day, too. Deaf ringing that bell. It made me deaf, you know. Next entry is another candidate for congressman is Matt Doheny, serving the 23rd congressional district. I don't. Not sure if he's a Sean Hannity fan or not. <laughs> Handy likes to That's followed by uh, Leon Gagno with his race car. He ran pretty good last night down at the track and finished second. Number two ain't bad. <laughs> it's followed by the staff and crew of the Weathercock. Food and spirits. <laughs> well, some of the patrons, too, I guess. I just emptied out the place. Emptied out the place. Oops. I think it's time for that one to leave anyway. <laughs> and that's followed by the float from Shazy Orchards. Oh, apples for everyone. They're giving out apples. Even Jeff Green's going to take one. Well, thank you very much. No problem. All right, got me one of them cheesy orchard apples there. That's them in my refrigerator at home, but this one's sitting right here.
last I heard, they were still doing it, making them available to uh, to uh, all the uh, visiting teams that come to play against the uh, Eagles here in Shea Z, as, long, uh, as well as the uh, home team. But the this is next followed by the Champlain Valley Antique and Gas Engine and Tractor Association. Who's that ugly? Leo and Karen Aiki Jr. Who's that ugly? Brad Izzo. Up there? They have 1952 Farmall H. 1972 Massey Ferguson 14 and 12 horsepower. Leo Aiki Jr. Karen behind. Not sure who's between them. We plan on being there for their annual Stephen show. Stephen Getney, Getner, and family have a 1938 RC Case Tractor with John Deere, John Deere mower from the 1800s. Arthur Borey has a 1948 Farmall Cub. Arthur Boer. And David Babby has a 1967 Fox Chopper. In about two weeks, the Babby Family Farm Museum, uh, Rural Museum, will be opening up. David's father, Leeward, uh, driving force behind that on a river road in Peru. We hope to be there for that, but we've done a nice show with them already. With Leeward and his uh, nephew, uh, Ricky Lauren. There's Rick. It's not in the museum. <laughs> and who do we have here? Some more of the rural farm equipment, the antique farm stuff. Grand opening. Uh, worth the trip. Babby Rural Farm Learning Museum. Check out our video on the web. We have Pilon. Transportation and towing driven by Jamie Pilon and her co-pilot daughter Emily Pilon. Driving one of their new tow trucks. <laughs> Pilon Transportation. That's followed by uh, the number two uh, Pilon Transport and Towing with Doug Pilon, the owner. He has his uh, 40 and 8 chapeau on, and his wife Linda, known as the Jewelry Lady, is his co pilot. Slow moving here. Doug Pilon throwing the goodies out. Hi. How you doing, Doug? vehicle of the Pilon group is uh, their transport, water transport. It's driven by uh, Elena Pilon and her dad Dennis. This and Nathan uh, Pilon is the co-pilot. This will uh, fill your pool in a hurry. Water straight from the quarry. That's followed by the West Shazy Fire Department. The 
Your tanker. Super Dave driving. Super Dave Lucia behind the wheel. That's followed by the Shazy Highway Town Department with a 1995 tandem dump truck driven by uh, Warren Russell. This is the town's oldest tandem plow truck. And it still looks pretty good shape. And we have two vehicles from St. Armand Service, Joe and Joey Dio. They got their two tow trucks, their tow truck and their uh, flatbed. left in the road is here takes care of it. And this looks like one of the tractors from Dutch Rovers, isn't it? That looks like Lance up there. Fine supporters of Hometown Cable and Rovers Farm. That's it. And up now if we can get the uh, state police to sit there and hold for a minute so we can finish our ceremonies and we'll be good to go. He's going to pause there. Can you hold there for a little bit and let us get our ceremonies finished? <laughs> the school band will uh, All you people who thought the play a small over. medley of songs. <laughs> hey Dale. Go ahead and do your Star Spangled Banner. All right. couple presentations. I'd like to thank everybody for coming today. Just got a couple of presentations to make. I have a certificate of appreciation to Mr. James Black for outstanding support and thoughtfulness by creating a veterans parking space for those who have served in the Champlain Price Shop Room. Yes, sir. Jim Black, manager of Champlain Price Chopper, being recognized for putting out a Parking space for veterans. Well deserved honor, and they want to make sure to recognize them today and Memorial okay, Day. I have another presentation here. Certificate appreciation to Ms. Sherry Fall for outstanding support of American Legion Youth Programs. Sherry is unable to make it today, but she is a te school teacher at the Shazy Central High School.
Also unable to make it today is Mr. James West. He's receiving a certificate of appreciation for your hard work and dedication in making our post shine. He was a mentor to our next recipient. <laughs> Lastly today, I'd like to thank your certificate of appreciation to Dina Panetta for your hard work and dedication in making our post shine. If you go into our post, you'll see that she just about renovated as much as you can without getting a building permit. She's uh, painted walls, she's built cabinets, she's really improved our post here, and we're proud of her for doing that, helping out the Veterans Association. Dina Panetta, senior at Jay-Z. And a Girl Scout. <laughs> Now the band will uh, play a medley of Revolutionary War songs. Thank you for coming today for our parade and our Memorial Day ceremonies. Please keep in mind what Memorial Day means to the veterans of this community and to the veterans of this nation. We have hot dogs in Michigan's and sale at the Post and soda, so please uh, enjoy your day and thank you.